Yes, get better. Wait, let's stop. Wait, let's stop. We don't need it. We won't get over there. I think we better stay here. Just we'll stay here, Bill. Not, not go over there. Over there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's wonderful to be here in Rocky Mountain and have such a great crowd of North Carolinians. I'm Luther Hodges, a North Carolina Democrat. <laughs> I want to introduce a, a bunch of your distinguished citizens that got on at the top previous to this as they leave, and then we'll present Lady Bird and others later. Mr. Worth Joyner of Rocky Mount. Mr. Thomas Collins. Mr. Milliner. Mr. Williams, Mr. Tim Valentine, Mrs. Alda Jones, Mrs. Ralph Strickland, Honorable Alan Barbie, Honorable and Mrs. Cameron Weeks, Senator Weeks, Mr. Vincent Bridges, Bye. goodbye, Bye. Mr. Bridges, Mr. Bishop, Mr. Biggs, Mr. Bill Clark, Honorable Dal Alford, Mr. Jernigan, is Mayor Minges here? The mayor? Mayor Minges? I present to you your own mayor to make a few presentations. Hello, Mr. Mayor. How are you? Is that you that speak for Mr. Jordan? Have Jordan and Cooley and Fountain just to, just to let them. This is what they told me to do. All right, go ahead. All right, go right ahead. I, I got to hand this to Ms. Johnson. Yeah. Can I have your attention, please? I know that I am speaking for every man, woman, and child in this audience and welcome Ms. Johnson. Welcome to Rocky Mount. You can. You can tell from the warmth of the crowd we have here, you have many, many friends in our city. Even the weather has cooperated to make your visit pleasant and enjoyable. We are proud to have you, the First Lady of our land, as our distinguished guest. I am also proud to introduce you to Rocky Mount, which is on the move and fast becoming the industrial and retail center of North Carolina. It is now my distinct pleasure to present to you the key to the city of Rocky Mount and to bid you, Mrs. Lyndon B. Johnson, and the distinguished guests of the Lady Bird Special, welcome to the city of Rocky Mount. Thank you. Let's stay right here. I want to present just to Senator Jordan, Senator Everett Jordan, the junior senator. Congressman L.H. Fountain. <laughs> Congressman Cooley. Where is Harold? Right Young Congressman Harold Cooley. <laughs> now I, I have a presentation, and I want her to say just a word. I want to present the lovely wife of our governor nominee, Mrs. Dan Moore. Thank you so much for the privilege of greeting you here. I wish that each of you could have had the wonderful experience that has been mine as I have traveled with our gracious, charming, lovely First Lady. I'm glad that you are here to greet her. I hope all of North Carolina will be at the polls on November the 3rd to do that same thing for her husband. It's good to see all of you. Thank you very, very much, Mrs. Moore. I want to present a distinguished deputy leader of the House of Representatives, the Honorable Hale Boggs of Louisiana. Governor Hodges, Mrs. Johnson, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I shall only take a minute. Your distinguished uh, former governor and now the Secretary of Commerce and I serve as uh, co-chairman of, of this trip. 
We left Washington this morning at 7 o'clock. We have stopped uh, 8 or 9 or 10 times by now. I haven't, I've lost track of them. But at each place, all through the great state of Virginia, and now throughout the great state of North Carolina, we have had tremendous crowds out to greet the face lady of our land, Mrs. Johnson. And I say to you that this so-called Southern strategy of the Republican Party, where they're claiming they're going to carry the South, just isn't going to happen. <laughs> President Johnson is going to carry Maine and Vermont and New Hampshire and Arizona, and he's going to carry North Carolina and South Carolina and the rest of the South. I am a Southerner just like you are. Mrs. Johnson is a Southerner. President Johnson is the first Southern president since the war between the states, and the South isn't thinking about rejecting the first Southerner in a hundred years to be president of the United States. And now it's my great privilege to present to you your distinguished governor, a man known throughout the land as one of the greatest, most progressive governors in the United States, the Honorable Terry Sanford. I'm glad to be in Rocky Mount and on behalf of the people of Rocky Mount and all the people of North Carolina to say welcome to a wonderful lady from the South who has come home to the South to bring us a message of goodwill and a message of hope and a message of accomplishment in America. Now she has a message for us, but before we receive that message, I would like for you to give her a message to take to President Johnson. I'd like to let her know how we feel about her husband, whom we are going to elect in November. Now give her that message one more time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the First Lady of the Land, Mrs. Lyndon B. Johnson. <laughs> Governor and Mrs. Sanford, Governor and Mrs. Sanford, Mrs. Dan Moore, all you friends out there, Thank you for this wonderful welcome to North Carolina, and thank you for all those signs. I just wish I had a picture of a lot of them to take with me on down the road. Secretary Hodges and Mrs. Hodges, who are so kindly acting as my escort on this whole tour of the South, said the time to come to Rocky Mount was the time of the June German. I explained to them that dancing is more in Lucy and Linda's line than in mine. I did most of mine in the days when your leading citizen, Kay Kaiser, was winning his fame. I really wanted to spend some time here ever since I heard North Carolina historian Bill Sharp had summed up Rocky Mount by saying, we don't have any millionaires, but there are an awful lot of good livers around here. <laughs> if statistics are any measure, there are more good livers than ever in North Carolina because since 1960, North Carolinians are earning $245 more per capita each year. And that's $13 more than the national average. I sure don't want to forget to remind you that those have been democratic years. <laughs> I asked for this whistle stop for my assignment for many reasons. For one thing, this trip takes me not only to the queen-like cities of the South, but to the smaller towns and rural areas. I was born in such an area and I am at home here. So this is a journey of the heart. I am a Southerner and proud of it. I am a Democrat and proud of it. I have for 29 years had a front row seat on what the government and the men and women who play the hard daily role in it do about the problems that come before them. 
and I know that the Democratic Party tries to solve them, not just deplore them. My husband started his career in Congress in the Depression years, and neither of us can forget the marks of poverty that scarred the South Country, hungry children and men and women with only despair in their eyes who had lost the patch of land where they had worked or lived. My husband has brought many lessons of the past in the House, in the Congress, in the Vice Presidency, and now these last 10, year, 10 months as your president to the White House with him. I believe they equip him to go on working as your president, and I know that he will work hard along with your own Dan Moore to make a more prosperous future for North Carolina and for our country. Thank you. And that's a sign that says we must go, but I wanted Linda Bird to get to say hello to you, our daughter, Linda Bird. Thank you for the sign. I want to thank you for all these wonderful signs and all these kind people who came out here at this time of the night. I notice a lot of them are young people, and I feel close to young people because I am a young person. And we're workers, we're the volunteer generation, and so I'm going to enlist y'all's aid to work with us between now and November, and then we'll need you even more after November. Thank you all for coming. The 4-H clubs of Nash and Edgecombe County have made presentations of tobacco and flowers uh, to Mrs. Johnson, and we appreciate it very much. So you have your own Uncle Sam here that we always see down this way. We're going to have to go because we're running late, and we thank you very much for coming out. Let's start it. Let's go.